that's the part that you got to do all right any other people up in here that's a's a's and a b's i want to talk about as it pertains to cancer 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 is state of being a's and a b's we're going to avoid or reverse reverse by our correct diet now eating for your blood type type and this here trumps all of them people out there that's telling you that everybody got to be a vegan no they no they don't everybody got to eat for their blood type when people talking about hey stop eating this stop eating that they ain't talking to everybody you got to know that because we're all energy frequency and vibration and everybody vibrating at a different frequency first of all so before i begin with this here lecture today I want to show you real quick how to get and you all could help the people that's coming through while I'm talking how to get to my website link in bio so when I say link in bio this here is a bio this here is a bio how we get there while I'm talking y'all tap the screen like this it's offering time y'all tap the screen like this and I'll get started when we get to a thousand likes on both of these pages but I want to share what a, a bio is this is a bio you get to a bio up here at the top by pressing on my picture the picture is on the top of both of these lives. This is how you get to a bio. You go in here, why? Because you're looking for my website link. The direct link to my website, www.sortoftheearthpub.org. It's right there on my bio. When you click on the link to my bio, you get to my website. On my website, I made it easy. You can scroll down and look at everything, and read all about me if you want to do all that kind of stuff. But I made it easy for you. See these first black bars? That's where you need to be. These first black boards, the first one is gonna be highly beneficial, foodless only. You just wanna know what's highly beneficial. I'm talking about the nuts, the seeds, the fruits, the vegetables, the herbs, the spices, the condiments, the beverages, the sweeteners, the meats, the seafoods, everything for your blood type. See, every, every time people talk about health and wellness, they talking about a group, a different group of people. Some things work for others, some gonna work for you. But you gotta get the things that work for you only, your blood type. The second thing is gonna be a detox. That's when you have parasites, when you're backed up, when you're full of crap, when you have eczema, psoriasis, um, uh, fibroids, endometriosis, thyroid issues, all that, saying you, you need detox. So that's my highly beneficial um, sustained detox and alchemist oil bundle. These are my bundles that I put together for you. The next one is going to be eat right for your blood type. Not only is that one going to be the list, but it's going to be a meal plan. That's the third black bar. It's going to be a list for your blood type, meal plan for your blood type. The fourth black bar is going to be everything. Everything. The meal plan. The highly beneficial foods for your blood type. The at-home herbal potion that teaches you what your highly beneficial oils and herbs or it's like your personal antibiotics that that's going to help you no matter where you are if you're obese you need to start there if you're sick you need to start there with your herbal potion because you got to get rid of that inflammation in them acids you got to clear up that liver you got to clear out them kidneys and start to releasing waste that lactic acid that uric acid that mucus up in those kidneys you got to open up the adrenal glands your at-home herbal potion gonna help you with that then if you're overweight, that's also the last one, also beneficial for you because it's going to help you lose weight. Instant weight loss cheat codes is in this last bar. So you got everything you need. Just the meal plan is the first one. The second one is the detox plan. The third one is the meal plan and the highly beneficial list. The fourth one is the highly beneficial list, the meal plan, your herbal potion, everything that you need to try. You got it? Everybody know how to do that, right? Uh, let's say I have four children and was advised I was told I'm negative do you know about this so negative or positive doesn't matter if you a b a b o o negative or positive your letter matters so when I talk right now I'm gonna be talking to the A's and I'm gonna be talking to the B's I mean A's and the AB's and so who I'm talking to is a b negative a b positive a negative and a positive so i'm talking to four blood groups right now four blood groups whenever this here page gets to a thousand by giving you're about to receive it's offering time i need you to tap the screen to get us to a thousand and then we'll get started right here a thousand we had three we had 400 we need to get to a thousand thank you over here thank you goddess just be healthy page we already made it to the thousand over there we'll get started after we after this here page taps the screen it's offering time 
It's offering time. You got to learn how to give back when people give it to you and help help put me in a better position to help other people. If you're not going to, you know, adhere to the message, you know, if you're just here just to look at me, well, I don't know. We got to wait till somebody else come up in the room, then tap the screen, then if you're just going to look. <clears throat> but it's offering time. <laughs> hey, Isaac, how you doing today, babe? I see you. Hey, Lynn. Oh, okay, we at 8.50, 8.56. Okay, it's faster. We get that faster when you tap the screen like this here, on this here page. Okay, we almost there. We are not... Y'all done woke up. Thank you for waking up. Thank you for giving. It's so blessed to give. Look at y'all waking up up in here. We made it. Thank you. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's begin. Let's begin. Y'all won't hear this, huh? I'm an A. Well, you need to stay here then. If you need to stay here, if you're an A... Okay, let's get started. Wait, okay, I almost lost my, my spot. All right, so the reason why, first of all, hello, my beautiful sister. Hey, hey, how you doing today? First of all, if you are B or O, you're listening in this moment, we'll talk about things that are helpful for you maybe after I finish this, but I want to talk to my A's and my AB's. Somebody type A and AB in the comments. So that anybody coming up in here hear me talking. See, this is important. You got to know when people ain't talking to you. You don't know your blood type, go to Amazon. Type in Eldon at Home Kit, E-L-D-O-N. Somebody type in A and A-B. A and A-B only. A and A-B only. I don't want to mess up my B's and my O's. Thank you for that, Ms. Grateful. Can I get A and A-B only on this page? A and A-B only. I'll wait for you. I know it's a lot of letters. <laughs> a and A, B only. Type A and A, B only on Goddess Just Be Healthy page. A and thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss April. Y'all so perfect. Okay, let's get started. So, type A and A, B as it pertains to them being the least amount, having the least amount of hydrochloric acid in their gut, producing mucus all the time in their body, whether they ate good for their blood type or not, they produce the most amount of mucus because they lack hydrochloric acid in their gut. So if they have a high meat eating diet, they, you know, they black and they want to eat their soul food and all of this and that and the third, maybe they got some A's and AB's in New Orleans, Lord have mercy upon their soul. So everybody around them cooking this, cooking that, their blood is thickening. in. They're having stomach issues. They're more prone to get into the cancerous state of being, but they don't have to. This information is going to be good for A and AB, but it will not help B's or O's. Why is that? Because these foods that I'm about to mention are going to be like peanuts and soy and lectin, I mean, and lentils and those type things are on the avoid list for bees and O's. So bees don't have a hard head, hard head, give yourself A's. Don't eat this stuff, B and O. Thank you. <laughs> okay. People with type Blood, blood type A have the digestive tracts that find it difficult to break down animal fats and proteins. You know this when you download your meal plan, A's, if you're A, you have no highly beneficial meat, none. You have a lot of seafoods that you can consume, but no highly beneficial meats. Type A and AB should adhere to a diet that's high in fiber and low in animal protein because you get your protein from soy-based products, right? Yep, we're discussing A and B only. Right now we are, yeah, A and B only. Yes, thank you for posting that. So, there are specific foods for A and A and Bs that will really, really help them as far as cancer prevention is concerned or reversing cancer. Anything you get, you can reverse. Starting with numero uno, soybeans. Now I wanna break down the why to all of these different things, what's happening inside of the body, okay? 
between three to 11% of every cake of tofu is pretty much composed of soybeans, agglutinins. Soybean agglutinins are able to selectively identify early mutating cells producing the type A antigen and sweep them from the system, leaving normal type A cells alone. That's one reason why you, as, eat, as it pertains to eating soybeans, you should understand that soybean, I'm gonna say that again, just in case you don't understand it. Soybeans, agglutinatins are able, that's, this, is, this is already in the soybean. The chemical reaction, the, the chemical makeup of the soybean tofu, this miso for you blood type A and AB, the chemical reaction in your body that's happening is able to selectively identify early mutated cells. So this is like precancerous state of being. This is why it's so important for you to stick to a meal plan that's conducive of soy protein. Okay. Not only that, but soybean lectins also contain estrogen related compounds. The estrogen um, related compounds are called genistin and dadzin. These compounds are only or not only helping to balance the effect of a woman's estrogen levels, but it also contains other properties that can help to reduce the blood supply to tumor cells. Just by you eating for your blood type, this is preventing cancer, this is preventing tumors in your body because of the lectin. We're only talking about you as an A or AB eating your soy-based protein. Soybeans in all forms are beneficial to type A and AB as a general cancer preventative. I'm going to say that again. I'm not talking to you B. I'm not talking to you O. Soybeans in all forms, plant-based organic soybeans in all forms, because this is your medicine, are beneficial to type A and AB as a general cancer prevention. The vegetable proteins in soy are easier for these blood types to use. And so it is strongly suggested that these blood types re-examine any aversion they may have to tofu and tofu products. Think of tofu not only as food, but as a powerful medicine. So when people in your physical reality telling you, no, 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 no soy, you as an A and you as an AB, no, hey, they ain't talking to me. Mm -mm. They ain't talking to me. Because your bloodline, your ancestors, are kind of like that Asian group of people that eat soy, that eat raw vegetables. Those, that's your lifeline. And I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you purple black. If your blood, we're going by your blood and the chemical reaction of it. Even if you're purple black, you need to start falling in love with your tofu and your miso. You need to fall in love with the thing that love you back. The thing that's gonna protect you from the cancer. The thing that's gonna protect you from your, your tumors. The thing that's going to clear out your body because you're lacking your uh, hydrochloric acid and you need your help. Your help is going to be going back to nature. Your help is going to be you eating right for your blood type. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next thing. <clears throat> Peanuts. I'm not talking to you, O. I'm not talking to you, B. Don't you put no peanut in your mouth. Talking to A and A, B. Peanuts. The peanut agglutinin 
has also been found to contain a specific lectin sensitive to breast cancer cells. Breast cancer. I'm talking to A and I'm talking to AB. Y'all hear me, right? Peanuts. Peanuts. And so, <laughs> type A and AB can have peanuts. Peanuts or what? A bad part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not talking to them. That's why I'm not talking to them. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. Uh uh. Not the O. Not the O and the B. Nope. Don't you write that down. So back to my A's and my AB's. A's and AB's. When I say peanut and I put peanut on your list, I mean fresh peanuts with the skin still on them. The skin, not the shell though. The skin, not the shell. And I'm not saying peanut butter. I'm saying peanuts. Peanuts plus the skin, not the shell. That's for A and AB. Why are we eating this? Because they have a specific lectin inside of them that will help you with breast cancer prevention. So if that's something that running your family, make sure you're consuming that because it's on your list. And that's why you're consuming it. You, see, this is, why, this is why it's so important to know the whys. The list is a beautiful thing for you to have. I encourage you to download your list. Link it by your sort of the earpub.org. Download your list so you know. But here's the why. Breast cancer is the why for your peanuts. Estrogen imbalances in, in menopause and in, in, in them herbal um, hot flashes is your why for your soybean. Y'all getting this? Y'all listening to this? Is anybody there? Ain't nobody saying nothing. Good. I love peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are y'all there? Let me see. Let me see. Y'all Y'all got to talk to me now. Y'all ain't talking. Let me see if you're there, if you're listening. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Okay, I'll have a moment of silence too. I, I'll take this moment of silence. Wait a minute. Anybody saying something? Oh, we here? <laughs> hey, hey, okay, okay. Now I see people. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Y'all know how to talk. Hmm. Y'all do know how to talk. All right. So, next up. We went through uh, the soybean. Wait, wait, I was looking. I have some more notes sitting up here. Wait. Wait, let me say something. Okay. All right, so next up, we did peanuts. We move it on. We still talking about ABs. We moving on to amaranth. A grain, amaranth. Amaranth. So, the benefit of amaranth, that's a grain that contains a lectin that will help you with colon cancer. Colon cancer. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Colon cancer. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for something. I found it. All right. The, the grain amaranth contains a lectin that has a specific affinity to colon cancer cells. It programs the cancer cell to kill themselves. A process known as apoptosis. Amaranth. So we talk about A, B. We don't talk about their soy. What's the use for their soy? For the plant-based estrogen for menopause to help them keep their hormones in balance. Yeah, to keep them healthy. Yep, we talked about A and AB as it pertains to peanuts. What's the benefit of the peanut? The peanut is going to help them with uh, breast cancer. The peanut, not the shell, and not peanut butter. Not peanut butter. I'm talking about the whole nut, chewing on the nut, swallowing the nut, 
You know, that don't sound right, but yay, that's what I mean. <laughs> anyway, and I say not peanut butter in that sense because of the process of peanut butter that it goes into, right? The whole, in its whole form. Remember, A and AB, you benefit most from your foods being in its raw, natural state of being, right? Okay? And then the commercial peanut butter, you know, they process it so much and it's um, homogenized. So I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about whole peanuts. And then we moved on with the A's and the AB as it pertains to colon cancer. And that's where the grains called amaranth comes in at. The grain amaranth contains a lectin that is specifically killing cancer cells. For A's and AB. Y'all got that? We're here listening. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's what I mean. Raw. Raw, what are you saying? You have the meal plan? It's on the highly beneficial list. Okay. So the next thing, moving on. Mushrooms, mushrooms and fava beans, mushrooms and fava beans. So when we're talking about mushrooms, I'm not talking about all kind. That's why I specify that on the list for A and AB. I'm talking about silver dollar mushrooms, silver dollar mushrooms and fava beans. They contain a lectin that reacts and suppress a T antigen. This T, if you have a history, and so we, we're talking about colon polyps now. If you have a history of having colon polyps, silver dollar mushrooms and fava beans is gonna help you with that. And these polyps, these colon polyps are pretty much uh, precancerous conditions. So you want to increase your intake of your silver dollar mushrooms. First of all, you want to eat right for your blood type, but pay attention to on your list where it says the silver dollar mushrooms that you should be consuming if you have polyp in your colon. This is for the men, the men too, because the men get in polyps in that area a lot polyps in the colon. So we got fava beans and we got Silver dollar mushrooms. So there's a study that shows that these polyps are reversed because of the lectins inside of these um, foods. They reverse the precancerous state of colon cancer. Reprogramming the cells to change back to its normal state of being. See, anything that your body, any condition your body got into, it can be reversed. You just got to know where to go to get that information to reverse it. Hey, Mark. Yes. 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 You got it. All right. The next one. The next one. Lentils, the lentils that's on your meal plan. The lentils. Oh, y'all helping each other. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for, for writing that out there for them. Lentils. The lectin found in lentils, and I'm I'm talking about your brown and your green, your brown and your big green. Your lentils, the little bitty bean. I'm talking about brown lentils and green lentils lentils you put you can put that with your amaranth that's a whole meal right there so back to it being destroyed how is it being destroyed the cancer cells are just bursting they're dying 
it's causing the cancer cell to die to kind of like explode when i say um that it's causing them to die they're they're exploding so if they're getting into smaller particles now it ain't no tumor no more now it ain't no cyst no more it broke up it's small particles it's not powerful no more it's garbage it's being expelled out of your body just by eating your lentils lentils okay I'm gonna throw in one more one more lima beans last one lima beans lima beans has a lectin inside of it too for um, type A cells uh, type A blood cells you know type A blood uh, owners per se <laughs> that it could destroy cancer the bean in itself the lectins inside of the bean itself helps them destroy or break up cancerous cells reversing cancerous state of beans in the a and the a b from from just by the, them eating it consuming it breaking up remember going back we um i'm sorry i was i was reading something I'm sorry, I'm just reading my note. W going back to the whole thing of it all is that your blood is creating a chemical reaction with these foods. And so the chemical reaction called lectins, the makeup, the reaction that's happening afterwards, because everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. It, the reaction that happens inside of it just causes your body to go into healing mode, a healing crisis, it destroying, destruction to all of these things that's no longer serving you. Increasing the um, increase of the microbiome diversity, digestive enzymes, hydrochloric acid. Even though they have the least of the hydrochloric acid, these foods help them, help to contribute to them increasing the, a little bit of it. It also helps to destroy this waste inside of their body. So this is why these certain foods for blood type A and blood type B, AB are anti-cancerous. This is why these blood groups need to make sure that on their meal plan, Lincoln Bio, that they are consuming this on their meal plan. They are, there are also some drinks on that meal plan that I highlighted for each blood type. Your herbal teas. Pay attention to your fruit juices because this, this, what will help you even further is if you're drinking your herbal teas and you're eating your fruit, and the fruit I'm, that I'm talking about are the ones that are high in fiber. The ones that I put on the top that are with your breakfast, your breakfast fruits, those fruits at the top of your meal plan are the high fibrous fruit. Fiber is going to help to assist and to expel this stuff out of your Bible, body too. Because the fiber in it is thick and tacky and it's sticking to the wall and it assists by leaving beneficial or what we call prebiotics behind in the gut some tackiness, beneficial bacteria. You know how they talk about the acidophilus per se? When the good bacteria outweighs the bad? Well, you have naturally in your diet, in your meal plan, many beneficial fruits that do that naturally for you. You, you don't need an acidophilus pill. You don't need medication. You need to go back to nature because nature have everything that you need, both of you, your blood type A, and your blood type AB. Yeah, so that would destroy, those are the foods that would actually destroy the cancer, reverse the cancer in you. But I wanna share something else with you um, as it pertains to taking care of your liver and your colon. Women should be aware that the liver and the colon are two major sites where estrogens can be degraded. If their functions are disrupted, the levels of estrogen throughout the body can rise, right? And so when you get a rise in this estrogen, you're out of balance. Elevated estrogen activity can stimulate the growth of cancerous cells. So we want everything in life is really about a healthy balance. So this is why I was mentioning fiber and why I came to this here section to, to remind you that you should adopt a high 
fiber diet. To, this here is going to increase the levels of butyrite in the colon wall cells. Now these butyrites are what is it what they call it but they pr promote the normalization of your tissue they help to expel waste in your body so you want your tissues to be in a normal balanced state of being so this is why leading to what i was saying early about fiber this is why you want to make sure you're drinking your fruit juices that are high in fiber that's making you go to the bathroom and that's the ones that i put at the very top of the meal plan you want to make sure you, you eat, maybe eat them even in their rawest forms. The juices that I have at the top of your breakfast, you eat them also in a raw form. That way you dr you're digesting them in their raw form and you leave in some of that bacteria inside of you because that's the beneficial kind. And you know, your beneficial bacteria has to outro outweigh your bad bacteria. And because you A and A, B have a whole bunch of mucus in there, it's, it's kind of grabbing that mucus. It's grabbing any pathogens. It's grabbing parasites over the walls of your intestines. It's helping and assisting you to create a, a better balanced environment naturally inside of your body. And remember how I was just telling you, you really don't, um, you really don't benefit much from going outside you know with medication that your food should be your medicine if you adapt to your diet well here's something that um <laughs> that i want to share with you about vitamin e vitamin e and beta carotenes don't deposit a high enough concentration in breast tissue to effectively create a positive change when we're talking about breast cancer, right? Even when we're talking about consuming high amounts of vitamin C. That, that makes blood type A and blood type AB become out of balance. It really doesn't do any, any good for them, right? So, in lieu of going to the over-counter supplements, I told you this once, but I want you to know your why. In lieu of going to them over-counter supplements, remember I told you about your yellow onion, your yellow or your purple onion when you're chopping up your food? Good afternoon to you too, babe. Yeah. I'm on blood type A and AB. So, yellow onions contain a very high level of quercetin, an especially potent antioxidant. Quercetin has none of the energizing activities of vitamin E and is hundreds of times stronger than any vitamin antioxidant that you can consume. Yellow and purple freshes onions yellow and purple and we're talking about vitamin i mean blood type a and a b this is where your yellow and purple onion come in because they are already high and and quercetin right so moving on from that so that's your reason why they help they give you your yellow and your purple onion giving you the mega antioxidants that you need that a supplement cannot do for you it's in your food a supplement can't do that for you a little vitamin c pill or a vitamin e pill can't do that to, can't give you the amount that a yellow or a purple onion they could never they could never mimic that never all right so the next thing is going to be, um, we're going to talk about the sprouted uh, vegetables that's on your, your meal plan. Sprouted vegetables. And when I say the sprouted vegetables, I'm talking about like your broccoli, like, you know, like some people would say broccoli, 
you know, some leaders rather or healers would say broccoli don't have much nutritional value in it and you don't need the broccoli and broccoli is GMO, but not according for not for you though. It's in accordance to your blood type, you need it. It's highly beneficial for you. Those type of um vegetables in that family, um they're like a powerhouse of medicine for you. Those type of um, vegetables in the broccoli family is a powerhouse of minerals for you. That's your sprouted vegetables. And these vegetables are <laughs> mega antioxidants. They encourage your DNA uh, repair and they control how your genes are expressed in response to the environmental, um, in, your, in your environment. So we talk about the nasty kale, we talking about broccoli, we talking about um, watercress, watercress is really highly beneficial too. We talk about uh, your kelp, your sea vegetable kelp. So that's in that, that, um, that sprouted vegetable family that I'm talking about that's on your highly beneficial food list. Make sure that when you consume these, you consume in them in your in their rawest form. So you want to only like boil these things, maybe even even your dandelion. You want to boil these things maybe only three, three minutes, maybe, just to maybe clean them, just to maybe you know just to, just give them a little hint of heat. If that, if you can handle raw without just cleaning it and just without boiling it off, that'll even be better because you actually a I'm talking just to the a for this moment here. A, you the actual actual closest one to being the vegan out of any blood type, the vegan size vegetarian, because you you need your food in its rawest form, and then the meats that you eat are gonna come from your seafoods. So this is why I'm saying to you, A's in particular, don't boil your food, your vegetables that much, because they're sweeping away waste and bacteria inside of your body. All right. Let's see. And last, last but not least, something I wanted to, um, I have here that I've noted to tell the A's and AB's. Exercise. Exercise frequently. And I do not mean hard, strenuous, because you, your blood type won't even allow you to do that. You'll be even paced out somewhere. I'm not saying no weights. I ain't saying no hard, strenuous exercise. But I am saying exercise lightly and frequently. You know, get a get a lot of um, at, um, rest. When I say exercise for you, I mean yoga. I mean walking. I mean maybe riding a bike. I mean mindfulness practices, you know. I mean something that's going to stimulate your mind with thoughts. Even crossword puzzles, like, right? Even um, like team builder exercise where you could do something maybe with a partner. They got this simple little, th this little simple little trend that's going um, viral right now. And it's saying pinky um in your index finger pinky index finger and then it says switch them switch them switch them i mean it might seem easy but it's very hard to do <laughs> it requires your thought and this here is mental simulation to you a's and a b you not no physical person you like art you like walking you like um yoga you like mindfulness easy type stuff so I'm, I'm i don't want to say easy like you like no punk or nothing like that i don't mean it like that but just based upon your blood type you just you just that's your kumbaya you know that's your kumbaya that what that's what centers you that's what balance you and i want to keep you in that zone i don't want to tell you i'm not going to tell you to go to the gym and lift the weights i'm not going to tell you to get on the football field and all of this other stuff that your parents probably told you and that you knew that you wouldn't couldn't do you know i'm not going to tell you that because i understand your blood and i understand that you not that's not the chemical makeup of your body to do but i do want you to get exercise as frequently as possible in one of those forms that i said because this is going to increase blood flow. This is your why. It's going to increase blood flow. It's going to increase oxygen to that blood. It's going to give you a newness. You know, always if you're outside, the sun is charging you. Breathing in fresh air from outside, that's recharging you. Just like you got to go to nature for your food, 
even going outside, sometimes you're sitting outside in an area where you don't have no dogs or cats or no bird poop or whatever, and just being grounded by the soil for you, A and AB. This is really this is really good for all blood types, this part here. But especially for the A and AB, because you are so grounded. All of your stuff needs to really, all of your food really needs to come from the ground. And you'll still, you'll thrive. You even thrive without much of the seafood at all, if any. You can really be the purest of the vegan if you incorporate your um, omega-3s that's coming from your highly beneficial oils that's on your food list. So there we go. Exercise frequently. It frequently get adequate rest. Have adequate creative um, expression in your life. You see, that's what I meant. The expression, like even drawing avoid um you know known pollutions and pesticides and things and even in your shampoos and stuff even with the chemicals we were talking about that yesterday when you're washing your hand you know i mean washing your dishes you put your gloves on you know avoid all of them pesticides in your food try to get organic grow your own garden if you have to and cover it up i have a standing garden out there and i cover it up i cover it up in in with this breathable cloth so the flies and the, you know, the birds and stuff don't come and sit on my stuff because I can't stand no flies. But eat your fruit in its fresh form as possible, your fruits and vegetables. Do not use um, antibiotics uh, indiscriminately. If you get sick, allow your immune system to fight off your illness. Go to your um, at-home herbal potion because if you get sick, that means you need to sweep something out. Your at-home herbal potion is going to be your highly beneficial oils with your omega-3s. It's going to be all of your highly beneficial herbs. And it's going to be full with the world's most powerful antioxidant if you have your alchemist oil up in there to kill parasites. It'll be a bug maybe that you consume because, you know, even though you're close to vegan, that don't mean your fruits and vegetables don't have bugs. And if you didn't consume one, it can very well make you sick. And so that's when you implement your at-home herbal potion to expel that out of your body. And you'll be so much healthier if you do this here, um, rather than relying excessively on flu shots and antibiotics. The power for you is in nature. The power for all of us is in nature, but I wanted to show you the whys in nature as it pertains to your health and wellness. The flu shots and antibiotics are only going to suppress your immune system and its natural um, responses. And that's going to wreak havoc on you because you already have a, you already on the opposite of the immune system because of your lack of hydrochloric acid. So that's your what's and your why's as it pertains to A and AB. Do we have any questions for that, for that group? A and AB. When is your next talk on the bees? We're gonna talk about the bees next. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Any questions? Y'all still here? Let's see. Kale isn't good. It don't taste good. It don't taste good. <laughs> but it depends upon what your blood type is, though. It depends upon if you if it, if it's highly beneficial for your blood type. So we're gonna talk about the uh, bees. We're gonna talk about the bees next. That was the A's right there. It depends upon what your blood type is. I can't stand kill. I can't stand kill. Thank you. I don't care how how highly beneficial kill is. They got other stuff on the list that's highly beneficial. I don't like no kill. <laughs> You know, and now that I, I'm open to other, you know, things that are really highly beneficial for my blood group, I'm not, I'm not an A or AB. So now that I'm open to things that are really beneficial for me, I don't need to fool with kale. So I told kale, you know, go to hell, kale. <laughs> I release you, kale. <laughs> I no longer need you, kale. Kale is highly beneficial for the bees, though, and so they'll benefit from it, and they, and they like it, too. You know, it's beneficial for uh, oils, too. I just don't like it. So we're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, negative. Hey, everyone. You missed the A. You sure did, because we just finished. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but not, not too much of it. You're talking about black seed oil? Not too much of it, and I, um, because it could clog up the liver. Um, but, um, 
I would say not too much of it, and I would say make it your own because you need to make your own. You need to get your own seeds, and you need to use your own highly beneficial oil because you buy it off a commercial line. You don't know what kind of oil that is that made up that black seed oil. So you want to make sure it's your highly beneficial oil. But yeah, not too much of the, it in, in any case. I would say when you do consume it, you make sure you do your lemon and your key lime because it could actually, too much of it could actually clog that liver. Is this live going to be on YouTube or anything? I missed a big portion of my time. Oh, yeah, this weekend on weekends I um upload. I love upload. I got about a good seven of them that I'll be uploading probably by Sunday. I normally upload on on one day. I just spend one day uploading everything instead of spending my week trying to do that because it take long for YouTube. I mean for TikTok to even tell me that my video ready or process it. I don't know what TikTok be doing. And speaking of TikTok, y'all. Since y'all mentioned that, I'm putting together a series for all blood types as it pertains to their health, as it pertains to, you know, getting rid of certain sicknesses and disease, um, exercise, and all kind of beneficial things. And I was doing a series, it was going to be on TikTok, but we're going to scratch that. I ain't doing nothing on no TikTok because, you know, I, I practice mindfulness and I practice um, what I preach as far as not speaking of the things that I don't want more of but i'm gonna just say it today tiktok uh deletes a lot of my videos that i be trying to help y'all with and this is why i all um i i be trying to you know get y'all to tap the screen in the beginning so i can get you know on a for you page so get exposure whatever because when i post a regular video the y'all gotta catch them too because if you don't catch it when i post it then if it's good and telling y'all really valuable information TikTok gives me um, validations all the time, violations or whatever, all the times. And um, I, this is why I have two pages, actually, because I was getting violated so much on this year page. I have about 60,000. I was getting violated over there. I don't understand why I do, I do appeal and I don't even sit on appeal. I'll try to appeal, but I never even heard anything about any appeal that I ever did. So I ended up getting this page and I was like, well, I'll just talk about health and wellness over here. So now I don't get, what I'm noticing is now I don't get violated over here no more on God is just big, which is the mindfulness page. I don't get it. But so it's something about me when I talk about health and wellness. So they just told me today on this page, God is just be healthy that if I get one more violation, then my page is going to be banned. This one here, I think I got maybe about 13,000 or something like that, that this page may be banned. And this was the page that I was actually going to do the series on. So I thought logically about that. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do my series on it because I'm not about to get, you know, a risk of getting banned. Because the last um, video that got banned was when I was talking about blood type O's and how they help heal the H. pylori, the candida and reverse their um, peptic ulcer. And I gave them the herb and I told them about um, sustained detox in the, in the herb that will help them heal their ulcer and how the um, H. pylori will slide out of their body. And they banned my video because I'm teaching y'all something that will really be valuable and heal y'all seemingly. And I don't like to, um, you know, just say the days of the world. I like to, you know, be accountable for my energy in every aspect because that's what I teach. And so that's why I never told you all anything about it. So I'm just making a, um, a logical decision not to do my series here. And then another thing, doing the series here, they wanted, they're they going to take like a 1.5% of the amount that the series would be worth on TikTok. And I'd be darned if I give TikTok a, a copper penny of my money because <laughs> they don't, first of all, don't deserve it. And they're violating my videos because i'm teaching y'all how to heal your body so i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it on my website and that way it'll be you have to go to my website to get these things and that way i don't have to worry about no tiktok but <laughs> those were some good videos it was really good videos and i'm thankful for y'all support in all that i do and all that i teach and it makes me feel the positive thing about it is it makes me feel like I'm on the right path because we get this information out to too, too many people and then we, you know, the mass of be healing at a collective level. And that's my passion. That's really all that I share and, and all that I care about really 
to be in a position to help other people and learn and, and grow in my journey at the same time. So I had to share that with you all. The series will be on my website, soulthereardpub.org. I will not be doing a series here on TikTok. In this page, I'm not sure the life or the longevity of it. I, I get sometimes on here and I'll post like about seven, ten videos all at once on God is Just Be Healthy because I can flow with this because I have so much information on this. And by the time I finish doing my seven to ten, it kind of feels, just to be honest and transparent, it kind of feels a little bit discouraging sometimes after you did it like maybe 10 or, you know, videos back to back and they disappear <laughs> they get or they get deleted or they get violated. And so it's a, a violation rather saying I'm not a guy abiding by the guidelines. And I, I y'all know I'm, mind, I'm mindful and I'm an area and I love to read and do research. I've read the guidelines. And I don't see anything in there where I'm violating. I don't talk about people, you know, I, you know, I don't curse and all of these different things, you know, I know that I'm in alignment and I know I just look at it in a positive way. I know that I'm on the right track and that's my way of my, in my positive way of thinking, that's my way of avoiding resistance and keeping my stuff on my website where it needs to be instead of giving my information to TikTok and allowing them to reap off of my natural gift and my research and my love. So I'm going I'm to keep my stuff on my website. Ain't, no, ain't going to be no series for me. Shout out to all the content creators who do that kind of thing and sign up for the creative fun and the series, but I ain't going to be one of them. So no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for um, posting my website. I appreciate that. Agree. This isn't a, a space. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a space for healers. It's really not. But you could go viral when you're doing something silly, though. You know, you could be viral, you know, when when you're grabbing a wall or you're saying something that don't give life, don't expand your, you know, your greater self. You know, you, you go viral for all of those different things. And so... It, it, it could be it could be it's discouraging so sometimes i just be like i ain't for nothing i don't know we just talk and so that's why i get on here for hours and hours and talk live and i'm and i'm asking y'all to press the screen so maybe people are seeing me that way but and i'll just talk about it then because it's just too much and then i have a life outside of this i'm retired so i'm not i'm not about to give too much of my energy and if i give all myself and i give from the heart if I give all of myself and I'm doing this series and my series gets deleted and my whole page go down, y'all know I'm a natural introvert. I'll be like, all right, because I'm I go with flow. I'll be like, all right, I guess that that's that's me not needing to say nothing else no more. I will grab all of my stuff and leave TikTok. <laughs> y'all be like, where is God is me? She ain't here no more. She ain't here no more. Cause I go with the with the flow with things. I really do. Yeah. What's the site? My website is right here, sort of the earth, pub .org. That's where everything is. My YouTube channel, just in case I ever y'all ever be thinking about me and you ain't see me in a couple of weeks or months, that mean I'm out of here because I don't, I don't, I don't do, I don't do confrontation. I don't do the wobble. I don't do the resistance. I go with flow. So if if my flow ends up telling me or flowing me up out of here back to YouTube. My YouTube link is going to be in my bio too. So you will click up here to go to my bio. You click up here to my picture and you'll see that black triangle. That's going to be my YouTube channel. That's going to be my YouTube channel. All right. So I'm hopeful that um, y'all got that information. Okay. All right. Type O um, here. I ordered my sustain. Go ahead. Oh, look at you. Look at you. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I have that. Please help. What you have? What you talking about? Oh, thank you for the gift. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, what's the other page and your YouTube? My two pages. One is called God is Just Be. Oh, those of you that's on this God is Just Be Healthy, make sure that you are following me on God is Just Be. God is Just Be is my main page. God is Just Be Healthy is the backup page. And that's the one that I'm talking about that I just got yesterday a warning that if I get another violation that they're going to um, ban my account completely. And all my violations just been telling y'all about health and wellness. And I, I, I ain't telling y'all nothing else. That's it. And, 
and y'all have they have about a good 10 videos over there that then got by um then they got put pulled down i don't know what happened to they in the cloud somewhere got violated got muted got something i'm like man look so y'all might want to follow god is just be on my other videos all right you're so welcome all right so i said the website me too yeah okay Oh uh, yeah, H. Polari. Yeah, you have that. That's what you're saying. This said that's with that's a common thing for O's. For O's, they have the H. Polari. They have the Candida. They have the um, peptic ulcers. They have the halitosis. They have the thyroid. Yeah, and and really for the bulk of it all is because of the grains, and the wheat, of an old diet, compromise their gut compromise the immune system because they aren't used to whether the ancestors aren't were never used to eating this man-made form of wheat and corn that causes inflammation but they also have another corporate they have their own set of hydrochloric acids inside of that gut that really <laughs> goes against them too it's high and beneficial for breaking down um, their uh, meats because they're the meat eater, right? But then at the same time, it's not beneficial for them in the sense that if they're not eating right for their blood type, that same hydrochloric acid mixed with, let's say, wheat, which causes cause an inflammation. Well, that hydrochloric acid mixed with that inflammation already with that meat, that wheat, and that wheat that's just sitting there on top of... Um, a certain place is causing soreness and so with time that soreness that redness that fire that hydrochloric acid is working against and it's actually causing a tear it's causing bleeding inside of their gut right and so now if it's bleeding inside of their gut now they have like a wound and they keep putting things that's not coincides with their um, blood type that's causing a nice little infection that's causing like yeast maybe to get inside of that that um that wound, for example. And so when yeast and bacteria and parasites get inside of the lining of that, that is what we'll call this H. pylori. That's what we'll call candida overgrowth. That is when the O's or whatever have the halitosis and, and the tongue starts to get the thrush, you know, the, the stain, the, you know, the white coating on the tongue. And so in an effort to reverse that, I, well, I wasn't thinking about the O's at the time, but to reverse my health, I created sustained detox and it's high in sea vegetables. It's high in six of the sea vegetables that the old blood type actually need. At the time I wasn't worried about no old, I was worried about me. High in iron, high in the H. pylori um, uh, fighter of, 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 of sea vegetables, high in candida fighter of getting rid of um, fungus, it's a high antifungal, antioxidant. Um, antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. And so sustained detox being high in sarsaparilla, the, the most potent form of iron there is. Iron is another thing that old suffer with or lack thereof with their anemia. So sustained detox available on my website also has an ingredient in it from a sea vegetable called bladder rat. Bladder rat is um one of the seed vegetables that help to get rid of a lot of yeast and bacteria in the gut and the whys and hows of it is that same bacteria that causes the h pylori now that was inside of the lining of the intestines for the oils now when they take things like sustained detox now that bacteria slides down and so now in a, in conjunction with eating right for their blood type they have the digestive enzymes going with eating right for their blood type. They have the um, increase in their microbiome diversity for eating right. They already had the hydrochloric acid. It's replenished now because now the enzymes broke down that food, broke down that wheat, yeast and wheat and bacteria. It broke it down into small particles so it could be expelled. If at that pivotal moment they consume sustained detox, it will allow any slime that was deeply embedded in that um, stomach lining to just, it's almost like a slippery slope that happens and it slides out of the walls of the stomach. And you got to remember, 
that the stomach turns over like our skin sheds our stomach sheds every three to five days is shedding and so while it's turning over and giving you a renewed lining oh i'm talking to O. while it's giving you a renewed lining it's getting rid of that old bacteria in that old lining because you are now also assisting it by digesting the sustained detox and so all of this at a cellular level is detoxing and being purged i have a couple i gotta restock this week but i have a couple of more sustained detoxes left on my website if you go to the link in my um bio to my website sustained detox is going to be that first that second bar there's a sustained detox button and it also comes with the package also comes with um the alchemist oil i put it together as a bundle at the top of my website now alchemist oil heals parasites or kills parasites the larva the egg the adult parasite whatever state of being that they're in the um the alchemist oil let me see if i got any left the alchemist oil will help you with that and it's it's packaged already but the alchemist oil is on the website and it looks like this here this is the world's most powerful antioxidant antifungal antiparasitic antiviral for o's especially o's and a's you know bees are really balanced you know it's easy for bees to get back but o's and a's especially i highly recommend the sustained detox and the alchemist oil and the reason why I'm saying this, going back to why, I need you to know your whys and all that you do. In all you're getting, get an understanding. Don't just buy stuff it's like, oh God, it's just me I said. No, you don't know why. The reason why I say this here is highly beneficial. It's for everybody. But I say why for O's because, because of the simple fact that oil pulling is something that you can do with this alchemist oil oil pulling to be really beneficial for all oil, o's because everything that the o's o's and the a's the everything that they suffer with the most is right up in here oil pulling oil pulling O suffer right here with, with with the you know thyroid a hydrochloric acid the candida the h pylori so when you're oil pulling you're pulling this bacteria forth it's almost like you're calling back your energy you call it back your toxicity you're saying get out of me i release you now like right when you gargle with your highly beneficial oil and put this maybe three to five of this alchemist oil in it so you get a teaspoon of your highly beneficial oil and you're putting three to five drops of the alchemist oil on that teaspoon i'm sorry about that on that teaspoon and when you after you do that you mix it together because you must dilute it it'll burn your tongue if not you mix it together and you're putting it inside of your mouth and you're swishing it inside of your mouth for about five minutes. When you're swishing this here inside of your mouth, you're killing bacteria. You're healing your dividers. You're reversing, um, what they call them things? Cavities. You're, you're, you're curing your high halitosis. You're getting rid of your thrush on your, on your tongue. You know, that candida, that ace pilare, you know, you're healing and soothing because this is an oil. You're soothing, soothing yourself. It's your highly beneficial oil. So you're giving your body an anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory. You're giving your body your uh, mega trees. So it's, it's the perfect thing to wake up for, for the O because of those things that they're suffering through. And because of the A's, the A's on the flip, the O's have all of this here up here that's going on, but the A's have everything in their stomach, leading to stomach dis-ease and disharmony. So that yeast and that mucus for the A's, that's being drawn up. And, and even in the head, because it as within, so without, on earth as it is in heaven, as above, so below, this gut is connected to this. So I'm switching over to talking about the A's now. The A's with your stomach issues, it's so important that you start your morning off with your lemon and key lime water. But prior to that, when you're brushing your teeth, it's so important that you oil pull too because of all of that mucus that's built up up in here. The mucus that's built up in your stomach, you call it forth. And as you call it forth out of, out of your stomach, you're also calling it forth out of the lymphatic system up here. You're cleaning out your mouth and it's going to help you release and help your sinus path this way to clear up too. So this is antifungal, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, 
antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. This is numbing. It can be used internally and externally. You can wash your meat off with it, especially your seafoods, eggs, and especially your red meats, oils. You can clean your meat with it by just putting your meat in a bowl of water, adding some lemon or key lime to your water, and then adding a couple of drops of this here to get rid of the parasites, to get rid of the bacteria, to get rid of any maybe fungus or anything that's on your meat. This can be used externally on your skin too, on your chest, where you have the mucus at, on your knee, on your hand if you have arthritis because it's a pain reliever too. I highly suggest that for you all because that's going to help you so much. Sustain Detox and the Alchemist Oil are my top two products and they work. They heal. They, well, I can't say heal. I probably, I can't, I gotta remember, I can't say the word heal. They reverse. They reverse. They reverse sickness and disease. That, that's the word that I have to use. I have to be tactful in, in, in alignment with the guidelines and say that they reverse. Okay? So if you want a reversal, <laughs> that'll be your way to go. Okay? Yeah. So, any other questions? Any other questions? Anything else that somebody want to add? I want to talk about chicken. Anybody out there like some chicken? Fried chicken, baked chicken, barbecue chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. What you picking, picking, picking? Who that is? That's that little dog, doggy place. What they call that? Canes. Chicken, chicken, chicken. What you picking, picking, picking? Every time I see that place, I'll be like, is that dog that they're serving the people? Like, why they got a dog on the thing? And it's supposed to be chicken. It makes me think that they got dogs up in there. Anybody had that dog? Is they trying to feed people dogs? And then even if they ain't pe feeding dogs, they feed the chicken. Why you got a dog on there? Because in my mind, it's nasty to have a dog near or on the billboard around food. Dog and food just don't go if you want me to eat over there. That's, that's what I'm thinking in my head, but that's how I think. Uh, um, yeah, can old positive drink lime water? Yeah, yeah. I have the alchemist oil and I love it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that comment. Uh, can oils drink key lime water? Yeah, oils can have key lime water. Oils can have lemon water. Every blood type can have key lime and lemon water. What oils cannot have is acetic fruits. Acetic fruits and apple cider vinegar. They cannot have. That's why O's don't have any um, acetic fruits on their meal plan because they're not highly beneficial for O's. O's only have like really 10 fruit that are highly beneficial. And then most of them is just high fiber fruits, you know, um, in, 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 in beneficial fruits for um, that provide antioxidants. But they're, they're not the citrusy type oranges type fruit. They, they, cause, and the reason why, I want you to know your why. Your why is because O's already have a high amount of hydrochloric acid inside of them. Remember, they're the leading ones with the hydrochloric acid being able to break down in food. That's what they, I, they acid already doing for them. So they don't need another acetic fruit. Anybody to tell you, you know, you got to eat your oranges, you, you know, you got to eat your grapefruit, you know, these, no, they're, grapefruit and orange are highly beneficial for O's. Oranges should not be consumed by O at all. But lemon and lime aren't like that because of the simple fact of this here. Key lime, for example, and lemons. When you put them in your mouth, they're, yeah, they're acidic right there. And they that acid that's right there is breaking down um bacteria like right if you have thrush or whatever up in the air you know the white coating on your throat if you um have thyroid issues you know you got bacteria up in this area it's clearing it out when you consume it here but when that key lime or that lemon gets up in here it's transformed into an alkaline substance it's no longer acidic no more so it turns into alkalinity, leaving an alkaline ash up in your stomach because it's real. This is what real foods do. This is what non-genetically modified foods do. And I think that's really, really cool. And being that it does this, now it's an alkaline fruit. And that's why it is good for all blood types. If you're gonna eat or well drink key limes and lemon, you must make sure 
that you use a straw when you drink ex excess of it. Like when I make my gallon, which I need to make my gallon now because I ain't have it in hard about a week. When I make my gallon of key limeade with water, spring water, agave, and key lime, I know that I'm going to be drinking, you know, a lot of it because it's a whole gallon of it. Everybody in the house is going to be drinking some of it. So I make sure that I leave the straws out. So that way it bypassed our teeth because the acetic range of key limes and lemon can take the enamel off of your teeth. That's how, how acetic it is. It will cause you to get a cavity. So for you A's that need your key lime and lemon glass of water every day, you're doing this every day, altering the pH balance of, in your mouth because your saliva is supposed to be, if you're healthy, it's slightly alkaline. So you're altering the pH every day of your mouth and that could lead to a cavity, even though it's key lime and lemon and it's something healthy for you. So to bypass that, you drink it with a straw and then maybe you drink some water afterwards and squish it around your mouth to bring back your natural alkaline balance in your mouth. But yes, blood type O can have lemons and they can have key limes and they're highly beneficial for all blood types. Blood type O should avoid apple cider vinegar. It will burn you up. It will cause you an ulcer. And it is not the same as no key lime and no lemon. And it's not highly beneficial like a key lime and lemon. It could never on its best day. So I would say stay away from that. Blood type O. I'm talking to the O's. O's. B's you could have the vinegars. O's you cannot. Okay, chicken. We want to talk about chicken. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. All right. You're so welcome. Wait, I missed a question over here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about bees. Bees and chicken is what I'm about to talk about. So. Do you recommend quit bugging me or sustain? If I already have the oil. If you already have the oil, I would say sustain detox. Chicken. Chicken and bees. Bees and chicken. That's what we're talking about now. B blood type. I'm a B blood type, so I could just say this here off of the dome. The main, main things for you, B blood type, because you're balanced. You really don't suffer with, 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 with sickness and disease. Your biggest thing is going to be your liver. Your biggest thing is going to be your liver. And, and that could be very well be leading to maybe hormonal problems with you because we were talking about as far as estrogen is concerned, when, it, when it's out of balance, your liver becomes clogged up and it just takes and wreaks havoc throughout the whole body. But it's interesting to know that you suffer with liver issues. You know, everybody got a section where they suffer with first. And for the bees, when your body is out in balance because you're not eating right for your blood type, your liver gets clogged up and becomes toxic. And so you need to focus, keep on doing things that'll help you. And I just want to tell you one thing that's going to really, really hurt, really, really hurt your, your liver, bees, and really all blood types. Even if you have chicken as being neutral, I would highly suggest that you consider you and your highly beneficial meats and get away from the chicken. The chicken has too many hormones inside of it. It'll cause your hormones to get out of whack. This is for all blood types. There's hormones inside of chickens, all the way to the bone of it, the structure of it. This year is leading for bees in particular, while they can't and should not be consuming any chicken products. Bees should not eat chicken. Bees should be avoiding chicken at all costs. Chicken, 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 what you're picking, picking, picking. When they say that to you, you need to be running the other way. Chicken gonna have you depressed, B. Chicken gonna have you fully inflammation, blood type B. Chicken gonna have your hormones out of whack. Chicken gonna have your cortisone levels, all kind of which ways. Chicken gonna have your kidneys, help make it hard for your kidneys to filter because What's going to happen is a chain reaction. Your liver going to get clogged up. You're going to have a whole bunch of estrogen in your body. And then once it gets clogged up and you're on fire, your immune system, which 70 to 80% of your immunity lies in your gut, your immune system trying to get rid of that toxin, 
it's a chain reaction and, in, and then your kidneys begin to suffer and then you're trying to eliminate waste and then you're tired now and maybe you want to go to sleep now you don't have serotonin now you don't have dopamine and it's all because blood type b you need to be running away in particularly blood type b running away from chicken you also need to run away from tomatoes 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 will have you on fire and when i say tomato i mean spaghetti i mean ketchup i mean anything that you got to put tomatoes in the pico de gallo tomatoes 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 for a blood type b is going to be a no-no it's going to set you on fire fire like cayenne wheat is not good for no blood type either but i'm gonna throw in there that the wheat for a blood type b wheat for blood type b or any blood type really is you, you gotta you gotta pick your battles you gotta pick your battles and wheat and chicken and pork those are the three and corn those are the four things for all blood types that we just really collectively need to leave alone but as it pertains to blood type b and chicken i really want you to know that that is the leading cause of why you probably can't gain weight and especially if you're a black person because chicken is eating everything you know any black people they love their chicken so in lieu of chicken blood type b that you should be avoiding i would say switch over anybody that have chicken i would say switch over if you love your chicken so much switch over to turkey even though blood type b turkey is not highly beneficial but it'll be less inflammation and guess what they don't have the hormones inside of the turkey like they do the chicken so that's a beautiful switch over and the turkey have everything that the chicken had so for the blood type b the liver back to the liver what's gonna help that liver there are gonna be two things and i'm gonna tell you how you can get or where you can get these things from two things that are going to be highly beneficial for your liver because that's where you get really really toxic at first of all the first thing is going to be your highly beneficial oil your highly beneficial oil is going to be your anti-inflammatory and so the your liquid anti-inflammatory i understand that we have these omega trees and stuff in our seafoods but i want to let you know that outside of meat i like to give you another avenue to explore because some people don't like to eat meat and some people don't even eat as much like me myself i don't eat meat like that so i i rest on my oils more than anything because of that and so your highly beneficial oil on your meal plan is going to supply your omega tree when i talk about omega threes i'm talking about them in the sense of knowing that they get rid of inflammation in the body for one and also knowing that they're going to clear your organs including your liver your liver is how you live black type b and so you want to lubricate the liver which sits underneath this here rib cage right here behind your breast you want to lubricate it because when you eat a food any blood type when they eat a food when we eat a food our food our blood and our food is creating a chemical reaction this chemical reaction goes to the processing center processing center called the liver now the liver is processing these things based upon what we ate and calling calling it toxin chemical this that and third and keeping it here in an effort to protect you and save your life you know burying it here right for a moment in time until you give it the right tool that it needs to clear this here out break it down ever so gently so it can be expelled um, through the gallbladder duct via the lord and small intestines to be eliminated as waste out of your body but if you blood type b don't never give yourself the amino i mean the omega tree in your highly beneficial oil this liver gonna keep on getting clogged up for you you might be walking around looking cute you might you know might be a little feminine lady and all this and that third but guess what your liver can still be clogged up you still this is this so this is gonna be why your breath gonna be stink still this gonna be why when you go to the bathroom you still have an order this gonna be why when you go to the restroom and you just urinating you're smelling like ammonia because it's getting clogged up and so if it's the processing sensor and getting clogged up guess what it processes and release not only with the, to the Lord and small intestines, but it's going to be releasing to them kidneys too. So that means the adrenal glands going to be clogged up and sluggish too. 
Here we go. What's going to help unclog that? Your highly beneficial oil that's in your at-home herbal potion available on my website. And a root called licorice root. Licorice root is highly beneficial for blood type B. Highly beneficial. And it helps to open up this liver releasing releasing so you drink the tea you start off low if you have high blood pressure you have to start off first with licorice root by using your highly beneficial potion because it have your oil in it and your highly beneficial oil with your omega-3 is the thing that's going to bring down your your blood pressure you got to bring the blood pressure down first b i'm talking to the b somebody type in b blood type B. I'm talking to only blood type B. You got to bring the blood pressure down with the highly beneficial herbal potion first before you begin to lose the, use the licorice root. Licorice root is going to be the herbal tea of choice for bees. That's going to open up this liver and that's going to open up the adrenal gland to help the toxicity level in the body. There's another place that you can get licorice root from by it penetrated inside of your body. There's a product on my website called Be Nourish, which is a soap. It is a soap that's highly beneficial for blood type B. It's called Be Nourish. Inside of this soap, it has the highly beneficial oils. It has the vitamin C that blood type B needs, right? In this, you gotta remember, it's penetrated in the skin. The skin is the largest organ on the body. What you put on it, penetrates inside of it. Be nourished also has licorice root inside of it. So now when you're bathing and you're putting be nourished on your body, you're getting licorice root at night. You must drink water though. Like, this is not no regular soap, y'all. This is a lymphatic cleansing soap that opens up your adrenal glands that opens up your gallbladder duct, that opens up them kidneys. So that means you need to open up your mouth and drink you some water <laughs> well, as soon as you get out of the tub because everything gonna start moving and flowing. And so you want everything to start moving and flowing from having a highly beneficial soap that's gonna help you clear out your lymphatic system. The soap is a lymphatic cleanser. And when you clean out the lymphatic system, this liver is connected to the lymphatic system and it's going to release. It's going to know that, oh wait, the kidneys got room. The kidneys open, the adrenal glands open up to the kidneys. This person urinated, now there's more room. Hey, we can let some more stuff out. We can, we can let some of these toxins out. And at the same time, somebody was asking me about eczema and psoriasis and um, rosacea. So at the same time, now your skin is clearing. At the same time, now, now, now you're not stinking when you go into the bathroom. Now, now that candida and that waste is, is being expelled out of you because the, to bypass all of this, what you eating, you gotta be paying attention to what you are putting on your body. When you are putting more toxins and chemicals right here, that's aching to you not eating right for your blood type too, because this here is on all of your, um, it's on all the, throughout your whole body. From your head to your toe this here is your skin is everywhere you can't is here underneath your hair is at the bottom of your feet it's everywhere you can't ignore the skin this here is everywhere on you so that means if you're touching this here area area of your body with toxic lye most of the commercial soaps are like lye so you're putting a chemical still on there if you're touching your body with the Dr. Broner's in a, in a black African, African soap, soap that's high pH, that means you're knocking this out of balance. That means now your body got to work to get this skin back in balance because the pH of that soap is not inconducive to your pH of your skin, which is supposed to be 5.5, slightly acidic. But Dr. Bronner's in, in, in black African soap is, is way up there. Dial soap is way up there. They are close to like 9 pHs, okay? So let your soap work for you too. So we got your, um, we got your B, we still on B. We got you staying away from chicken and, and, and tomatoes because they're going to put you on fire. They're going to increase your estrogen. We got you opening up your liver and your kidneys because your liver is a problem where you get a part where you get a lot of your toxins. 
We opening up that with lemon, key lime, licorice root tea, and your at home herbal potion, and your be nourished soap. Whichever one you choose, whichever path you choose, that's all on you. Choose wisely. And so that's open up your liver, your gallbladder, duct, your kidneys, your large and small intestines. Now you have no choice. Your body has no choice to reverse. It has no choice but to reverse back to a healthy state of being because you're giving it everything that it needs. Yes, bees can have other ailments. Bees can end up with, you know, once this liver get really, really clogged, they could end up with so much toxicity that they have thyroid issues too. They could have stomach issues too. But there's really, their, their weaker point is really in their liver. And that's the bees. They're balanced. They're balanced. They could eat any, from any food group. Any food group. But as far as, because, you know, they could eat dairy. They could eat fish. They could eat meat. They got a lot of fruits and vegetables on their list. But as far as the herb of choice, it's going to be, it's going to be um, licorice root. Hats off. Because it, it, it's going to do the job. It's going to promote everything at a cellular level for the bees to get back to balance. Yeah. All right. So I answer that question. Uh, so he, do you, do I have something for eczema? Uh, a meal plan, highly beneficial meal plan. And if you be a meal plan plus um, everything that I just said is on that meal plan, the, um, the licorice root on there too. And then they have other herbs that's on there, every herb that's going to help you. But all of that starts in the gut. So you got to go to the gut to heal it. Yeah. You got to go to the gut to heal it. Let me see. They got a lot of comments. Look like, you know, it's just people passing through. What they got here? Um, do you may be positive and negative? Oh, do I mean? Yeah. Both of them. Be positive and be negative. Okay. Oh, that's just people joining. B. Yeah, B. Okay. Yeah. Just join. Did I miss A? Yep. Show D. Show D. We did that. And they had a lot. You missed it. So you're going to have to wait for the repeat on um, on YouTube. On YouTube. Because I don't come back to Monday. I do Monday. I mean, yeah, Monday through Friday. Oh, my God. I have to change soaps. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Somebody said me too. Yeah. Because guess what? You can do all that you want. This is the largest right here. Head to toe. Like, your kidney is right here. Like, right? They, they, You know, you got your adrenal glands and stuff, but that only cover, like, the back part. Just think about that logically. The skin everywhere. Liver right here, you know, but that's just covering this here part. The organ of the skin everywhere. Stomach kind of, like, right here, you know? But skin everywhere. You know, pancreas kind of, like, right there, right? Skin everywhere. So, it's a trunk. This here... <laughs> You could trump what you put it in here by what you put it on here too. Cause see, there's always more than one way to get you back to health and wellness. So you could do it by getting over there to the skin and you could do it by putting the right things on the skin. And that means you got to read ingredients. That means if you don't know what the heck that, 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 that stuff is, don't get it. That means all them dyes, you know, don't, don't. Your, your, your soap, your soap should, first of all, let me tell you something about what your soap should not do. It should not be lathering and sudden up, just like your toothpaste should not. Them sulfates and, and, and things that they put inside a toothpaste and inside a soap tricks you into thinking that you're getting cleaner. But that active ingredient in, the, in that is lye. The same ingredient that they're putting, the sodium hydroxide, the same ingredient that they put in an oven cleaner oven to strip it, to clean an oven. Now think about that. Now this is highly alkaline. Think about putting lye between your legs. It's alkaline. The vagina said it. It's stripping. The, the vagina is self-healing if you give it the, the right tools to do so. So this is why a lot of people, some people going to the doctor with skin issues because of their soul. Some people going to the doctor with bacteria veg, vaginosis and reoccurring yeast infections because of the pH balance of the soap that they put it right there, even if they're just putting it by the hood of the vagina, it's still penetrating, it's still knocking off the pH, 
And so now they constantly have a yeast infection and they don't understand why. Well, I cleaned down there and it's still smelly. Yeah, it's smelly because you, the, not only maybe are they not eating right for their blood type, but you're knocking out the pH balance every day when you wash it. It don't need to be penetrated with lime. Of all things, lime should not be down there. If anything, if anything, to be perfectly honest with you, no soap should even be going down there. You should be eating right for your blood type. And when you're taking a shower or whatever, you should be able to just rinse with your towel, with your hand or whatever in that particular area. And it should, it should be clean with water. Regular spring water should be doing the trick. Now, if you, if you have a, if you're in a state of being that water ain't doing the trick by just rinsing it and it's naturally, um, secreting beneficial, lovely smelling, neutral pheromones, then that means you diet. That mean diet. But I wouldn't even, I wouldn't suggest you put soap near the hood of it. Leave, leave soap from down there. That'll help at least, especially if you're using Dr. Brown or uh, Black Magic Soap. I mean, Black African Soap. Cause Lord, I, I, you gonna be in trouble messing with them down there. You gonna be in trouble. You remember when we were younger, and we had, you know, I don't know about y'all, but when I used to take a bath when I was younger, and I didn't know how to wash, you know, right just yet, and I would put the little sunny soap down there, and that's gonna burn. Like, oh my God. Yeah, that's why. That burning. Knocking you out of balance because they don't go down here. Soaps with lie do not go down here. They don't. Okay. A B blood type, please help. We talked about them for the first 30 or 45 minutes. So glad I found you. Thank you. I'll be ordering. Oh, you're welcome. I need to subscribe. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe, man. I appreciate you. Did I miss B? Yep. She's on B now. That's what I'm talking about. Bees right now. So bees, what soaps should we use? Well, I make a soap. I'm not saying that you should or you have to, but it's called Be Nourished. And bees is highly beneficial for bees. It's the soap that I use for me, and I'm a bee. And I use it, and I created it, and catered it toward blood type bees. I'm, um, and blood type bees need licorice root, root to detox their liver. So while you're soaping or bathing, it's opening up your organs of your skin and penetrating and causing your lymphatic system from head to toe to detox. And that's all I use. It don't lather. It don't have no, because it don't have no lye. I don't have no oven cleaning in my soap. I have the highly beneficial oils that are antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antimicrobial inside of my soap. And I also have, um, uh oh. And I also have a um, high amount of vitamin C inside of my soap too, because vitamin C is highly beneficial for blood type B. So, and it comes from citrus fruits. So those things, licorice root plus citrus fruit, citrus fruit is the real active ingredient inside of B nourish. And that's what keeps the lymphatic system, the backup to the blood system in my body and whoever else purchased the soap body clean and blood flowing and circulating. So for those of you who have thick, tacky blood, be nourished, be nourished. But make sure if you have blood pressure issues that you consuming your oil to bring that blood pressure down. Cause be nourished gonna open up that adrenal, the adrenal glands and get rid of them acids. It's gonna start releasing and bringing it to them kidneys. So you must stay hydrated. You must drink water after your shower will be nourished. It ain't just a regular soap. It's, it's, it's a, I can't say the H word. It's a reverser. It's a reverser of sickness and disease. <laughs> yeah, it's a reverser. What exercises? Um, the exercises? Uh, I didn't know you have soap. To, yeah, for the blood types. Yeah, that's for blood type B. The, um. Yeah, coconut helps to lather, but coconut oil isn't highly beneficial for all blood types because of the saturated fat. So I could, I didn't want to put coconut in the soap because then that means the A blood type would have issues because of the saturated fats that coconut oil would make them, it'd be hard for them to breathe having um, coconut oil in their soap because coconut, the saturated fats to help the A blood type produce a lot of um, mucus. Yeah. So... Um, now what I was about to say, I went from Doug, I brought up, so I need a special hygiene package bundle for mothers. <laughs> the exercises, that's what I was about to talk about, the exercise for blood type B. 
because we're balanced, it's really, really easy to kind of figure that out. We're balanced so that we, we like balanced type exercises. Exercise number one, that's fully balanced when you don't have to have nobody else but you. It's swimming. Swimming. Just think about the balance. The balance you in the water. So now you're being coming balanced with the water. Swimming is number one for um, blood type B. Blood type B um, also loves group exercises that incorporate a healthy balance, like um, golfing, like hiking with a partner, you know, things like that, like tennis. Yeah. Like even if we go to the gym, like in it, and I find it really, really interesting because I, I, I am walk around and talk, ask people what their blood type was in the gym. But I go to this little fitness, I'm a B, and I go to this little fitness center, and um, in the, the the class they have all kind of classes, like right. But the classes that I love and they never gave up on were the ones that I interact with other people. They have this high um, paced cardio class that they have. Um, different types of teachers and they'll have you doing your individual thing on your own like right in their class but then they have this one man who makes all of us group up so we do team building things where we're throwing the wall where you know somebody you know is doing the count form and that's the class that i love the most that class and that's based upon me being a blood type b that i gravitate to that particular class that class in my dancing classes, you know, because when you're dancing, you're dancing with a partner. Bees are balanced, and so their exercises are like balance too. Swimming, hiking, golfing, tennis, things like that, that represent balance. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I answered that one already. Uh, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, so basically, in a nutshell, it, it's good for all blood types. I revamped my all of my products to make them beneficial for all blood types. So, for example, sustained detox is the highest beneficially for blood type O because it has all six of everything that blood type O needs. But it's still highly beneficial for all other blood types, too. Um, the be nourished the soap that I'm talking about highest highest beneficial for blood type B right because it's gonna be unclogging that liver and it's, it's one of the highest beneficial herbs in there that support blood type B the licorice root okay but other blood types benefit from licorice root too it's just not highest for them so I took out the things that were not beneficial at all for any blood type for example coconut somebody was saying coconut oil lavish yeah but i i took the, those type of ingredients out of my product even though it could give me a better lather i don't want to stand behind anything that's not going to be good for a group of people you know i, I don't want, i will i can't i've turned down money for ads to do you know to talk about something that i knew that's gonna kill people like that darn zapper thing i won't say their name but the little zapper to get rid of hair right here and to get rid of hair right here and get rid of hair right here you know i would never ever be on no ad making no money to tell y'all to fool around with the foolery by where your lymphatic system is and zap it and, and destroy something else. i would never do that i don't give a darn how much money they offer me I just don't stand for that and I don't understand how other people, everybody on a different frequency. I would never, I don't care how much money be. I don't, I don't need no money. I know how to attract my own money. Keep your money. I, I stand behind my products because I use them. I, this is what my mom, my sisters, my, my children, my partner, we use this stuff. I stand behind and they have different blood types. They O's and, um, and B's and they got an AB up in there too. So yeah your b so for a b um be nourished i'm a b and i love water oh okay okay look at you see that that's a beautiful thing we love that water that water give us balance i take um blood pressure medication how does the grid root affect blood type i mean affect blood type that's what i was just saying if you have high blood pressure you have to bring the pressure down with your highly beneficial oil if you on blood pressure medication 
You got to work on doing that. Getting rid of eating. For, first of all, you got to work on eating right until your blood type. Are you a blood type B? I'm waiting for the response. First of all, you got to get the meal plan eating right for your blood type. In the meal plan, you have your highly beneficial oil. Your oil is your omega-3. And that omega-3 is what's lacking when you have thick, tacky blood. When you have thick, thick tacky blood, you have your sixes. You have your omega-9s and your sixes. What you're lacking is your omega-3s, which helps with inflammation, which helps to loosen that thick, tacky blood which helps to open up them kidneys to release some of them acids. You got too much of acids in that body and your lymphatic system is backed up too much. So the reason why licorice root is, um, they, they, they caution if you have high blood pressure to be, you know, careful of it and, you know, do start with low doses of it because it's almost like you opening up a valve like, right? With all this pressure in there so you got to work on your pressure by changing your diet first and by giving you anti-inflammatories first that's why i say to consume the at-home herbal potion to work on the pressure then start to micro dose maybe every other day with a little bit of your licorice root in a tea because it's going to open up the adrenal glands and the adrenal glands you should not have pressure going on when you open up the adrenal glands because everything gonna start flowing out and that could you know that can cause discomfort and then after you do consume it in small low amounts the licorice root you need to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water a lot of water not a cup of water a lot of water you're an adult you need to be at least up to almost a gallon of water a little shy of a gallon the average adult needs and so within that gallon, one a cup of them, one cup of that water needs to be lemon or key lime inside of it. One squeeze lemon um, quarter, you know, how you cut the lemon in four, or one whole little mini key lime squeeze in the water and digest that because that's going to help keep that the kidneys flowing and open and release some more of the acids, which is causing pressure because the blood is so thick and tacky because the lymphatic system is filled filled up with too many acids and ain't nothing coming out so those, those people with the high blood pressure their kidneys basically ain't filtering is what i'm saying here they urinating and they got the clear pee and like oh my pee clear that's not good your pee should be yellow your pee should have sediments your pee should be telling you hey i'm working your pee shouldn't be saying, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't letting nothing out. Because if it ain't letting nothing out, then that means you're full of acid. You're full of mucus. You're full of um, waste. And you back up. Backed up. You have thick, tacky blood. That's what th that's what blood pressure is. It's thick and tacky. Because there ain't nothing getting filtered with, with the kidneys. All right. Amen. Thank you. You're so welcome, Wendy. That light is bright right there. Um... Is it so good for every blood type? Yeah. Um, do you know you have the souls for... Um, oh, you didn't know. Okay. So I answered everything. That's it? No more questions? It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. Y'all make sure y'all practice your mindfulness. Wow. Thanks. You're so welcome. Do you sell licorice roots? Um, I don't sell it by itself. You can go to Amazon. Amazon.com, they have it over there. You go to Etsy, E-T-S-Y.com, they have it over there. But um, I will tell you that it is incorporated inside of Sustained Detox. Sustained Detox has a um, portion of licorice food inside of it. Sustained Detox. Uh, let's see. You're welcome. It's some positive. It's the same positive. Is it the same for O positive for high blood pressure? Oh, yeah. Any high blood pressure person, any high blood pressure person, you need some, you need some omega trees. You need some oils. You need an anti-inflammatory. Your highly um, at-home beneficial potion that's available on my website to bring that pressure down first. Any of y'all, anybody, anybody with thick, tacky blood, they missing some omega trees. They miss, they need anti-inflammatories immediately because they're on fire with that thick, tacky blood. They're on fire. They need to open up every last one of them. They need to open up them, them kidneys. They need to open up adrenal glands, but it's how you open it up. 
that will cause havoc on you. If you open them up and you like, oh, I'm going to just open them. I'm going to just eat the licorice root. Then it's going to cause discomfort to you. Because you was a hard head. And you, you, could, you got a hard head make a soft face. It's going to cause discomfort. The proper way. There's always a way. The proper way is what I'm telling you. The lemon and key lime. To open up the kidneys. To release uric acid. To release. This is first. Before you even fool with the. Somebody type first. Please type first. I don't like. I don't. I don't like to give y'all information and, 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 and I be accountable for somebody listening to it. Hey, face. Somebody type the word first. 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 Okay. First, we drinking lemon and key lime water for at least three days before we even touch it. When you buy your licorice root, you order it today. But today, if you have high blood pressure first for three days morning and night we making sure we have um key lime or lemon water first the same three days we're going to have our highly beneficial potion for our blood type that's on the meal plan for three days for three days at least two times a day for that too so you could do these two things at the same time so within that highly beneficial um potion we got your highly beneficial oil we got your highly beneficial herbs we got um the alchemist oil is up in there and we got pre and probiotic of your highly beneficial sweetener that's what the highly beneficial potion consists of for your blood type together together that's opening up your liver already that's opening up your kidneys and the adrenal glands already to a certain point to soften that's opening up and allowing it to get lubricated in a large and small intestines to soften. All this here is softening and helping with flow first. We're helping flow first. And so since we're helping flow first, we're helping that thick, tacky blood. And you better not eat a bread. <laughs> you better not eat a pork chop. And you better not consume no chicken in these three days. No bread, no chicken, and no, no pork chop in these three days. But what we're going to do is that lemon and we're going to do that. Um, We said we're going to do the lemon and we're going to do the at-home potion. On that fourth day. On that fourth day, now you check your pressure. If your pressure, it should have decided. You check the first day and then by that fourth day when it went down, if it ain't down to regular, you keep going to the fifth day. But when that day come, when that sucker, that pressure get down, pressure people, y'all should have the pressure machine, huh? Don't you have a pressure machine or something? Y'all y'all know when y'all start to wobbling or tripping? When you know when your pressure down. When you know your pressure down, that's when it's time for you to take a one-fourth, one-fourth of a teaspoon. One-fourth of a teaspoon. One-fourth. I ain't say no big teaspoon. One-fourth of a teaspoon of the licorice fruit. Now that your pressure is down, what's that going to do? Open up the adrenal glands and allow a lot of more weights to come to them kidneys. That, once you do that, now you're drinking more water. Now you're still doing your key lime though, but you're drinking more water and to flush to get some of that out. Then you 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 do that and move forward. You just didn't I can't say the H word. You just reverse your high blood pressure. You just became your own H word that I can't say. <laughs> you you came you became your own reverser. <laughs> That's what TikTok wants me to say. You came your real own reverser. You reversed it. And you keep eating right for your blood type. And you just going to be a reversing reverser for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're going to be when you grow up. But that's it. That's the video. Any more? Hey, hey, hey. Any more questions before I get out of here? I want y'all to enjoy y'all weekend. I want you to know that you got a physical form. That you can be, do, or have anything that you put your mind to. I want you to know that this here is 0.01 of all that there is. Your mindfulness, you believe it in yourself, you love it on yourself, you taking time to yourself, for yourself. You you talking to yourself and whispering good nothings and your habitual thinking is key. It's key too. Don't forget that part. All right? This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Y'all be blessed. Have a good weekend. I'll see y'all Monday. Okay, bye.